Genetic modification to using a scalpel to sculpt. Atomic gardening was like firing buckshot. This is one of my favorite fun facts when people bring up genetic engineering and genetic modification. There are thousands of mutant crops out there that were created in this way. As he explained in this video, crops are exposed to radiation, which induces random mutations. And then they are planted to see what those mutations were. This kind of thing can also happen naturally via the sun, a source of natural radiation. So when we talk about more modern genetic engineering, it is way more controlled and the outcomes are way less random than some of these older methods of genetic modification. Oh, and also crops created this way can be certified organic and non-GMO. So there's that too. And the end product is way less regulated than these more modern genetic engineering techniques. So it really doesn't make much scientific sense why these more precise, more modern ways of genetically engineering crops are so much more regulated than things like radiation mutagenesis. Another reason why the non-GMO label doesn't make any scientific sense.